You're considering two people for a job. One pretty, one ugly. In achievements, they're equal. Who do you hire? The pretty one? No, the ugly one. They accomplish just as much while having a bias against them. Always factor in other people's prejudices. I think what's interesting about this one is we hear so much about white privilege. We hear so much about male privilege, but we don't hear about the privileges which actually and experimentally have a much greater influence on life outcomes. And those are pretty privilege. They are more likely to be hired in job interviews. They are more likely to get higher earnings. They are more likely to have the door held open for them. This is particularly true of attractive women because men tend to judge people by their appearances more than women do. So, I mean, attractive women are some of the most privileged people in the world, but unattractive women are some of the most unprivileged people in the world. Or for a man, like the depth of their voice, leaders are more likely to be elected if they have deep voices or if they're taller. But we never hear about attractiveness and how much of a privilege that is.